Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and today we'll be reviewing the Transformers Legacy, Beast Wars, Tarantulas. This is based on the 1997 Tarantulas figure. I do not own, but this is the best representation of that figure you can possibly buy. For any Beast Wars collection, if I do say so myself. Before we get on to the video itself, we're going to talk about Tarantulas. Well, he was a treacherous Predacon, he was also a genius, all the things that suited Tarantulas' personality. But he enjoyed trying to overthrow Megatron and failing at every turn. But yeah, that's all we have for his bio, but that I remember about his bio. And now we're going to look at the box itself, and then we're going to look at the figure itself. Here we got a nice product shot of Tarantulas in his beast mode. With his spider legs and his spider arms. Got the other figures in the line, like Skywarp. I mean, Thundercracker. Dragstrip. Is that Megatron? I don't know. It looks like Megatron. And... A nice back product shot of Tarantulas in his bot mode, which looks pretty cool. In his beast mode. And more product shots. That's all there is to say for the packaging. Let's look at Tarantulas himself. And yes, he looks pretty spider-like because Tarantulas was a spider Predacon. You can put his weapons in his hands while he's in beast mode. But just for the sake of review, we were going to show that off once. Okay, now we can disconnect him. Like so. Now he's got his spider arms. They're going to go pinch, 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 pinch on some Maximals here. But yeah, a good looking spider mode, if I do say so myself. But now we're going to get down to Beast Mode comparisons with some other Beast Wars characters. I'm going to only do three because I got a lot of unsimple ones here. We're going to do the Mickey D's Beast Wars figures. So yeah, they're very easy to transform. This spider here reminds me of Tarantulas. As you can see, it looks similar. And we got Panther from the same line as well. So I get them transformed. But yeah, these are simple transformers for Mickey D's style transformers. They're very fun and very cool. But now we're going to get down to transforming it, which I got the transformation down. We're going to pull these arms out, pull out his legs like so, accordion them out like so, second leg just like the first, flip out his feet. We're going to rotate it, if I can get this part to come loose. Yep. We're going to rotate it right there. Like so. Flip back his head, his arachnid head. I can get it to plug in. Fold that up to become his backpack, and then straighten out his legs. Like so, and flip on the arms. And here we got Bad Old Tarantulas in his robot mode. And this looks pretty cool. Knowing it's based on 1997 Beast Wars Tarantulas, I love how good this looks. But before we get down to comparisons, let's give him his weapons. Here's his little crossbow, Predacon string-loaded crossbow. So you can take a crossbow shot and shoot and hit a maximal with that. And you're like, <laughs> eat crossbow, maximal scum. And his legs could shoot rapid fire shots in the show, but this one can't. Doesn't have any blast effects to do that. I give him his saw so he can go slicing and dicing with that circular saw. So he's got his main two weapons in hand. Now, for comparison with some other Predacons. Here we got the 
Beast Wars re-release of Megatron next to that one. It looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. We got the Panther from Nightcrawl from Beast Wars here as well. Looks pretty good. We got Rhinox. Maxilold and Predacons alike. And of course, we got the vintage re-release of the 1998, 1997 Beast Wars Rat Trap, which I do own here. So I own a couple of those 1980s Beast Wars. We got Sandstorm. He is a Predacon, and he is a repaint of the Scorponok mold. Why not? I say, why not? I'm going to dig out some other ones we have as well, if I can get them to work. We got Drill Bit. Sometimes his head likes to go fall back down into the back of the shell. So here's Drill Bit next to Tarantulas. And Optimus Primal. Leader of the Maximals. Did Megatron Optimus Primal. The repaint of the Vertebrake Mold. Fossilizer from Kingdoms. And last but not least, we got this Predacon I don't know his name of, but I call him Pincher. And he got red eyes, so he could definitely be a Predacon, for sure. And now for the Mickey D's comparison. Fast Food Transformers. Here's my custom ship. Panther, a.k.a. Ravage. And this 1997's Beast Wars McDonald's toy that looks like Tarantulas, but it's not. It looks similar. As you can see, they do share a similarity. And that's all there is to say for comparisons. Now we're going to get a group shot of all the Predacons I own in my collection. From biggest to largest. First we got Megatron. Then we got... Sandstorm. That's three Predacons I own. This tarantulas like repaint. Tarantulas like Beast Wars McDonald's toy. Panther, a.k.a. my custom Ravage. That makes five Predacons. And Pincher makes six Predacons loyal to Megatron. And they look really good right next to one another. So I own an entire wave of Predacons. And now we're going to line up all the other Beast Wars bots we own with the Maximals and Predacons. We got Nightprowl, a.k.a. Cheetor. We got Rat Trap. Because he's rat trap, why not? I might have to just put him over there and put Night Panther right there. We got Rhinox. I can get him to fit in there. There we go. And last but not least, we have Drill Bit. We have this Fossilizer. Maximal. We got Optimus Primal. And this is my entire Beast Wars collection as of 2022. And I own quite a bit of these. Are these worth adding to your collection? If you're a Beast Wars fan like I am, they're worth the money. I love Transformers Beast Wars, and that's why I started to collect these guys. And I don't even have a very lot of them. You want to know how many I own right now? I'll give you a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve Transformers Beast Wars figures I own in my collection as of 2022. So this collection is coming along nice. 
If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. For all of you who have subscribed and left link, left comments and likes, you guys are awesome. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.